Hi everybody. Uh, first off, I want to give Gene Grow credit for finding this tool, and I think it will help you create your advising schedules. So the first thing we need to know is to go to www.doodle.com, and within here you can create a brand new um, account and register an event. And I would recommend that you actually create an account so that it makes it easier for you to manage later on. So click on the login, go to create account, and in here you're going to type your first, your last name, an email address that you wanted to go to, and your passwords. Accept the terms of service and click create account. And you'll be able to, um, you'll get an email notification that you have to use in order to authenticate the account. And I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to put in my email address that I'm working with. And then my password. And when I click on login, it's going to bring up my account. Okay, so in here I want to create a um, sign up for my advising. So I'm going to go into my doodle, and you can see that I've already created one for Joyce here. But it's just as simple as going to schedule an event, type in the name of the event, the location, so where you want your advising to take place. Okay, I'm not an advisor, but I'll put my name in here for now. And then the other thing you can put in is how, you know, information on how to schedule. So I'm going to say, please schedule a 20 minute appointment, select only one. Okay. Now my screen is kind of small, so I got to scroll down, verify it's my name. This is where I'm going to get notification back and say next. From here on out, it's pretty easy. I'm going to click the click the day that I want to start my advising on and I can actually select all the days that I plan to work on this and say next and now I can fill in time slots. Um, I use the 24 hour clock it makes it a lot easier so if I want to start at 9 o'clock and then go down 20 and 9 3 and so on and so forth I can. Um, if I have more on this Monday than just these three advising I can click add further and it gives me three more so now I'm going to put in afternoon, so I'm going to put 1300, and you see it changes to 1 o'clock, um, 1320, and 1340, and so on and so forth. So I can go in and put in all the time slots I want, um, and I'm just going to fill it all in just so you can see it for right now. Click on Next, and it's going to say, do I want a basic poll or do I want to select something specific? So I'm going to go under settings. Um, I want to make this the, the participant can only choose one option, and I want to limit the number of participants per um, thing to one. So I'm going to click on there and say next. Now this is my biggest choice. I can either send the invitation myself, which I think I would prefer to do because this way I can go ahead and put instructions for my students in it, or I can just type, start typing in the students that I want. I'm thinking most of you are probably going to want to send the invitation yourself. You click finish and copy this URL so that you can send it to a student later on. And you're done with the creating. Now if I want to go back and look and see what's been going on with this, because um, maybe I want to make sure that you know people are signing up correctly so to test it I can go in here and I can go back to my doodle sorry I can't help you with the name this is the one that I just um, created that sound you heard was doodle telling me that I created this poll it's called a poll um, in here this is what a student would see so they would see this advising and they would see how many people have actually answered it um, you would have them click on the calendar view and then come down and choose one of the sessions. And this is the only tricky part of the whole thing. They have to be kind of steady with their mouse and I have a feeling that students will be to go over and select the section and choose yes. Now I have to actually scroll down on my screen so you can see the bottom of this. So I've chosen 9 o'clock on that Monday. I can type in my name here 
this was here from a past one, so don't think that I magically put it in. And save. Then they're going to get this little confirmation that says it's been submitted. And now I can, if I want to, return to poll or exit. As a student, I would probably exit. The only thing I would warn you is you can tell them in your email to ignore this advertisement. Unless you buy a professional um, account, you're going to get that. And that's it. It's that simple. You can then, um, as administrator, you can log in to your account. Again, you can go back to the My Doodle, and you can see everything here. You can see who's checked in and where. I can view it as a calendar view and see which ones have been chosen. Um, underneath the administration area, I can actually export or print the, um, my schedule list. So if I look at it, I have one person at 9 a.m., and it's me because uh, I put it in. That's it. Uh, plain and simple. I hope this works for you. Give me a call if you have questions. Bye.